Hi everyone. You know it's Evangelist Taylor again as usual, isn't it? Giving you trouble. But today I'm here with a little advice from the Lord. Women and men of every nation, in this season, many of us have been tested and challenged. Many of us have been tried. This is the time when we've got our faith in God and in His Word. You see, we've been praying to God for a long time for a specific thing. And we haven't been getting through. God has already answered us in the spiritual. So we're just waiting for it to manifest in the natural. And the devil knows that God has already answered us because God is on our side. And if God is with us, who can be against us? But you see, anytime we are closer to getting that answer from the Lord, this is what the devil does. He puts speed bumps in your way, building blocks in your way. He puts iron in your way. He put a lot of obstacles in your way and he tries to tempt you. You see, if you're a lover of sex, the devil will use sex as a weapon against you. I'm telling you. Anything. Anything that has you bound. Anything that owes your life. The devil use it against you. And as soon as you are too weak, he's going to defeat you. You got to be strong. It's like you're praying to God and you're asking him for a revelation. But because you are a lover of sex and you've been praying to God for a husband, the wrong man come. But God says, not every man that comes in my name is truly a child of the Most High God. Women, not every man that comes to you in the name of God is truly a man of the Most High God. Not every woman, men that come to you is truly a woman of the Most High God. Some of them are just distraction in your life. God wants to do something new in your life. And here comes that spirit of destruction. Trying to distract you from what God wants to do with your life. Trying to hold you back from accomplishing your purpose. You're on a mission for greatness. And there are many that will stop you. You see, I've been challenged myself. I've been challenged myself in so many different ways. Not because of sex. But for other reasons. I've been tempted and tried. And I've got to be strong. I've got to hold on. But I'm telling you women and men of this nation. Before you get your breakthrough. You're going to be challenged. I pray and I ask God for things. And I pray and I pray and I pray. Sometimes my tongue just rubs down like breaks you. When I'm not getting my breakthrough, but I keep holding on until I get true. You see, when you begin to speak truth in your life, truth to others, the devil don't like truth. He doesn't he like to hear truth. He doesn't like to see when you live truth. But in the name of Jesus. I come against every spirit that is working against truth. Jesus Christ is truth. And if you are a child of the Most High, you got to live in truth. You got to be truthful. You got to be truthful to yourself and to others. I feel it in my spirit. Many of you are getting breakthrough right now. Many of you have been tested right now. But you got to hold on to your faith and trust Jesus. Trust him in all things. Trust him. And when you pray to him and you feel, pray again and pray again and pray again and pray again. Don't stop praying. Don't stop praying. Just continue praying unto God. Hallelujah. I know many of you are looking at me today and I'm telling you, you're going to get your breakthrough. You're going to get it. Keep praying. 
and praying and praying and praying. Sometimes I pray until my throat gets so sore. Not just for me, but for others. Not every time we pray for somebody, they get the breakthrough right away. But I know that God heals. God has given us a hear to hear. And he also hears. He sees all things. He knows all things. God knows what's going on. I'm telling you to hold on to your prayer and just pray. Just pray. No matter what the situation is. You can't say evangelist. I have not told you to pray. 